Today I'm converting this empty bedroom into my new office, starting with the setup of my new desk and Mac Mini M2. It all starts with this electric standing desk from Updown Desk with the Acacia Hardwood Desktop. They actually have a number of other desktops available with different wood grains on their website to match the white or black frames. I went with Acacia for that nice light wood color and the one I'm using for this setup measures 150 centimeters or 4.9 feet wide by 75 centimeters or 2.5 feet deep. In this box, we have the black frame and legs that will help contrast against the light Acacia tone along with a height adjustable panel, electrical cables, and control box. The setup of the desk is pretty straightforward, but it can take a little while to make sure everything is measured, aligned, and centered correctly, as the installation process can vary a little bit depending on the desktop size. The frame itself is incredibly sturdy. It weighs 41 kilograms, so you will need a bit of a helping hand to flip it a few times during the installation process to screw in the control box and the desktop, which actually adds another 15 to 20 kilograms. The control panel has an LCD display to show the current height, which actually has an auto off feature as well to save a bit of power. I'm right handed, so I chose to install mine on the far right hand corner for a bit of quick access. A cable management tray was also included with my purchase, which is super crucial when you have multiple monitors, accessories and power plugs needed for a clean and minimal setup. Once everything is screwed in place to the underside of the desktop, you just need to plug in the cables from the two legs and the control panel into the main control box in the center of the desk along with the main power cable. I was actually super surprised how stable the desk is once fully set up and how quiet the motor is when the table's in motion. I've been using an old 2015 iMac for the last couple of years now and I've wanted a dual monitor setup for the longest time. So for my minimal desk setup, I'll be using two Samsung 28 inch UHD monitors, each on their own gas spring monitor arms. The arms I'm using are by Ergo Vita and have a weight capacity of 9 kilograms or 19.8 pounds. And the two monitors I'm using are both Samsung 28 inch 4K UHD monitors. The model number is UR55 if you want to look them up. And I've actually included a complete gear list of everything mentioned in this video in the description below. The reason I chose this combination of monitor arms and monitors was due to the easy installation and detachment using the VESA plate and for the ability to rotate monitors 90 degrees so I can have one horizontal and one vertical monitor attached to the standing desk. Once the monitors are clipped onto their arms, a bit of tightening is required to counterbalance the weight of the monitors so they can actually rotate and pivot with ease. Now that the weight of the monitors is supported, a bit of repositioning is required to get them exactly where you want them and spaced out evenly on the desk. In addition to installing the monitor arms to the desk, I went ahead and purchased a couple of extendable camera desk mounts from Nua for use during live streaming, recording videos, or for Zoom calls. Most of the time they will be hidden behind the monitor, but they can be extended between 43 centimeters or 17 inches up to 102 centimeters or 40 inches for whenever I need to record a video. They also include a removable 360 degree ball head with a quarter inch thread for cameras, lights, or webcams. The second one I purchased actually has an adjustable extension arm attached, which is from KNF Concept. And this is designed for shooting overhead and top down photos and videos on the desk itself. The center column can rotate and lock between zero and 180 degrees to allow for a bunch of different angles. And I've actually added a 25 millimeter ball head to the end with a quick release plate for mounting cameras fast and securely. Now the cool thing about this is it can be collapsed pretty easily and slide down behind the vertical monitor so it's out of sight when not being used. For the computer itself, I've upgraded from the 2015 iMac to the newly released Mac Mini M2. This one is the base model, but I have upgraded the RAM to 16 gigabytes because I edit videos and podcasts and I often do a bunch of graphic design on top of my normal everyday business use. The base Mac mini comes with 256 gigabytes of storage, which I didn't choose to upgrade because I generally operate off my portable Samsung SSD. I've also added a Satechi USB hub, which is actually designed for the Mac mini. And this allows me to insert SD cards easily to the front and to also free up some USB ports for my wireless keyboard and mouse. The Mac mini connects to the hub via a short USB-C cable, which actually leaves one USB-C and one HDMI port left available on the back of the Mac Mini for my two Samsung monitors. Now, every desk needs a quality desk mat, and for my setup, I've chosen this one by Orbit Key. This was easily the coolest and most practical desk mat I found, and it's designed to help keep cluttered desks clean and organized. 
The top layer is made with a water resistant premium vegan leather and the best part is the layer underneath is made from recycled felt and it's actually designed to be a bit of a stowaway pocket for loose documents and sticky notes to prevent them from piling up on top of the desk. On top of that, it comes with a sturdy magnetic cable holder that locks into the groove along the top of the desk mat, which is also the perfect size for a pen or Apple Pencil. For my keyboard, I've upgraded from Apple's Magic Keyboard to the Logitech MX Keys for Mac. I went with this keyboard firstly because it has incredible reviews and functionality compared to the Magic Keyboard, like the ability to switch between multiple computers and devices seamlessly, and the design of the keys themselves. And secondly, for the space gray and black finish that matches the rest of the desk components that I have, especially the Samsung monitors with their gray bezels. To match the keyboard, I added the Logitech MX Master 3S wireless mouse, which I've actually wanted for the longest time. I've seen so many videos about how useful this mouse is for navigating timelines when editing videos and working on projects. So I'm super stoked to add this to my setup and it fits in perfectly with the rest of the gear. After plugging the monitors in and with a bit of cable management below the desk, I spent the rest of the weekend transferring all of the software and files from my old iMac to the new Mac Mini. I'm loving how this desk setup has turned out and I've actually added a spare Rode PSA1 boom arm behind the vertical monitor to attach a microphone to for future videos and live streams. Let me know in the comments below what you think of my new setup and what things you would change or add to yours. I still have to furnish the room and decorate it a bit more to make it feel complete and homely. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to catch that video in the future.